apologize. I, I knew what was going to happen, and, and what I said was going to happen did happen, so I had a dialogue and come back. But I'm, and I'm now led to believe that there probably won't be another division under at least 8 o'clock. It may be 8.30, so we'll make it okay. Um, our, our next speaker is Tracy Lazar, who is uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Inclusion. Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. I'm going to inform everybody that the Vision of equality and rights and inclusion 
and put forward a clear, tangible set of demands. And in doing so, kind of reclaim our future and take back some of um, our power. So the manifesto <coughs> is an attempt at mapping out what that kind of alternative vision um, and demands will be. That will benefit not just the 11 million disabled people in the country, but society as a whole. It doesn't claim to be exclusive or um, it's not an extensive set of plans and proposals, but it's rather a roadmap setting out our vision um, and for sustainable change and an alternative approach to key areas of our life. It's a living document that has been developed and is being used by disabled people and our allies as a lobbying and campaigning tool in the lead up to the 2015 general election. The manifesto is also a reflection and an expression of a re-energised movement. You know, we had a fantastic lobby here a year ago, September 2013, where we had nearly 200 state people here seeing the launch of that uh, manifesto. And that came after a week of deep action, culminating, focusing on ASOS, and we know what's happened to ASOS, so that was a brilliant uh, bit of success. Um, so what does the manifesto contain? Well, it describes our vision of a society that's based on the values of equality and human rights with the full participation and inclusion of disabled people. A society where every person is valued and is recognised as contributing value. A society that celebrates diversity. A society that actively eliminates discrimination and exclusion to enable full citizenship for all of us. It also sets out, I guess, some core principles, and those principles include that the UN Convention on the Rights of Disabled People and our civil rights must be fully in